This is Hair Tutorials with my hairstyle EXO. Before starting, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe my channel and click the thumbs up for this video. Thank you and welcome to the my channel. I hope you will like what you see. Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create the cornrows. Creating the cornrows is very easy after you learn how to hold the strands. First, I will part my hair for the cornrows. I start by taking a rectangle from the side and then I put the rest of my hair back to the ponytail so it won't be on my way. After that, I will part this rectangle in three equal sections. If you struggle to create these partings neatly enough, try to use water for your hair before starting. Then the most smallest hair sections are easier to handle. Then I will tie these two sections below with an elastic and start braiding with the topmost piece. And before I start the braiding, I wet my hair totally. That makes the braiding much more easier. Start by taking tiny piece of hair from the front. Separate the section in three equal pieces. Then start to braid a Dutch braid by bringing hair alternately under the middle one. And the most important thing with these cornrows is that you need to hold the strand you're moving with two fingers like this. The strand you're moving at the time must be super tight, otherwise the braid will be loose. And when you add hair, I suggest you to bring the hair strand under to the middle first and then add hair. That's how the strand you add goes directly inside the braid. And I think that's the much more easier way to make the braid tight. Bring the hair strand again from the side under to the middle and add hair. Make sure that strand you're moving is very tightly between your fingers. Many think that corners are hard to do as you need to hold all the strands super tight but as you can see, it's not in that way at all. As you can see, some of the hair strands are very loose while I prayed. You just need to know which one you can keep looser and which one you need to keep tight. The way how you should keep the strands tight is very personal and there's many as well ways to do it. I personally do it kind of two different ways. I personally hold the strands with my right hand between my forefinger and thumb, but with the left hand I hold the strands between my middle finger and thumb. I don't know why is that, but I suggest you to try which position is great for you. Keep on braiding like this until you're braided the whole open section inside this braid. Please notice that under this video, on the description, you can always find more tips and advices how to make your braids better. This time I also add a short list about the most common mistakes with these braids. So if you have any troubles, please check out the list you might find the solution for your problem. Now the first braid is ready and I start with the second one. Before starting I wet my hair totally to get more tighter braids. Take a small piece of hair and separate it in three equal sections. Then start to braid a dot braid by bringing hair alternately under the middle one. After a few stitches, start to add hair to the braid. Add hair from the both sides of the braid. Again, notice that you hold the strands between your fingers. That's the best way to keep strands tight. Remember that you don't need to keep all the strands tight. 
Important is that you hold the strand you're moving at the time very tight, others won't be necessary. If you try the cornrows at the first time, notice that the more smaller your strands are, the more harder they are to hold. So if you struggle at the beginning, try a little bit more bigger strands, so you can learn the right technique. And when you do the three strand braids, I suggest you to move the strand from the side under to the middle before adding hair. When you add hair after moving the strand, you can move the added hair right inside the braid and make sure that the strand you added is tight. Keep on braiding until you braided the whole section to this braid. Then I start to braid the third and the last braid, beginning again by using water on your hair. Then take a small piece of hair and separate it in three sections. Braid exactly like you did before. Bring the strands from side under to the middle. Add hair from the both sides. And the most important thing is that you make sure that you keep the strand you're moving at the time very tightly between your fingers. And here's the final result. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, I will see you again.